This uh, conference will now be recorded. The short introduction about myself. So I want to go with one and each individuals. Uh, I like to know who I'm speaking with and give a little bit introduction. That's very important in this industry. Like, so when you go for interview, that's fine thing is tell me something about yourself so please start i like to start from uh, me mizanur team can you hear me Okay, I cannot hear anybody. I don't know. So I like to hear from you. I like I like to you introduce yourself. Then I can start my class. I like to know deep a little bit more about uh, what do you guys know about Java and uh, where I'm going to start from. Um, actually, this class is regarding uh, automation framework. So I need to know a little bit background. Yes, know something. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my control. So, uh, Mizanur Rahman, can you please uh, give me a little bit brief about yourself? Um, uh, my name is Mir Najir Rahman. Uh, I'm sorry. I live in, uh, okay. Okay. I live in Texas, and uh, I have no knowledge about IT IT sector. So, so, uh, so you have no knowledge about so. Uh, so you completed Java and everything, or just... yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I took some class from uh, YouTube, and uh, I also follow the Shangam class. So okay. So do you have little bit knowledge about Selenium, like how to get the path, XPath, uh, those type of uh, good things? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Very good. So you ever work with any framework? Do you have any knowledge about framework? Any types of framework? Yeah, it's like a linear framework and okay. then, i couldn't play back okay okay correct okay yeah uh thank you today uh, we'll introduce uh, one uh, different kind of framework but let me introduce uh, um, other uh, participant here then we're gonna go forward from there so uh, i can see sabina akhtar here uh thank you nazir rahman can you please introduce yourself i'd like to know a little bit uh, about yourself Well, um, um, uh, my name is Sabina. I'm actually from Virginia. So I, so far, we've been lear we learned about Java, um, Selenium, some of the framework in Selenium, like uh, Nisa Roman mentioned about linear and modular framework and all this other stuff. So um, I'm, you know, just here to learn more about automation and hopefully get a job in the industry. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I can see one more participant here, Shukla uh, Das. Hello. Can you please little bit uh, yourself, uh, Shukla, so I'll, I'll know what you did and where I need to start from? Uh, Shukla, can you hear us? Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll go from there. So, Tim, so uh, today you already completed Java and other frameworks. I believe you have deep uh, uh, knowledge, little bit knowledge about frameworks, linear and everything. So, I don't have to give those knowledge. But it's, uh, in this industry, it's very important at the interview, right? Uh, it doesn't matter how much you know, matter is uh, uh, can you able to 
pass that uh, interview process right this is very important so after this uh, or when we have finished this our framework today we're going to do one different kind of framework which is very uh, common in the market right now very hot in the market everybody wants to know do you know this so we're going to discuss about that framework and today we're going to discuss and try to build hands-on we're going to build one framework ourselves right then after that class that's my plan uh, then uh, we're going to have I, I want each and everybody in here uh, you can briefly uh, uh, say that okay after this class uh, one shot you can say okay this framework i can build from scratch it's no issue on that so that's confidence i want to build yourself okay um for that i need your help uh, you can uh, push me anytime 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 when i'm talking any question any small question you can ask me there is no problem in that okay please ask me any question whenever come to your mind remember that please okay so let's start our class so uh, the first part is i like to give you a little bit uh, about the framework so uh, do you know why we use framework does anybody know here why framework needed in this industry what is framework actually guys uh, i want some if you want you can everybody unmute there's no issue on that okay but i want to talk so the framework why you need a framework i believe you already work on some framework right it's called the first one you already work linear scripting framework right record and playback somebody work on modular framework right so why we need a framework very simple question and also one thing make uh, pen and paper ready look in uh, my 14 years career i took a lot of interviews so i'm going to give you some interview related question uh hopefully after that class you will be get almost same type of question they will ask you again and again believe me definitely i'm going to give you one or two hundred percent they will ask you on the interview i have few question i'm going to give you they will ask you on the interview process hundred percent not even 99 right so i'll give you two questions regarding this you'll get that write down those two okay but i want the response from you the only i'm talking and nobody responds this class uh it's, it's not like uh, the way you have to two-way communication right okay so um, the framework why you need a framework framework is makes our life automation life easier right there's more code organizing right we, we made the way organize the code less dependencies then when you run in the film make our life easier very simple way i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the framework today on our way the way we talk correct so there are types of framework right so you said you already work with there's a very important types of framework linear scripting framework modular framework data driven framework keyword driven framework hybrid framework behavior driven framework so each and every framework sometime interview will ask you a question here they will ask you what type of framework you worked what type of framework knowledge you have so you have to know about the framework now what type say if you work with linear framework you have to know deep inside the linear okay that's framework i work on is is the for that reason is is uh, uh, we can use that as cost effective or uh, that's why use that as some uh, requirement came from the business that's to build that framework so those type of answer they want from you correct so what is the modular framework we have the modular piece in there we use the scripting and build the framework that's the module framework. so those uh, uh, answer they want from you what is data driven framework right so in order to make connect to our database uh, database in the system right inject to the system we use that data driven framework correct i want everybody unmute here please unmute I, I like to talk like that okay so keyword driven framework everybody unmute please i don't mind is background knowledge i don't mind we are here we're going to talk each other okay so the keyword driven framework right so uh, do you have knowledge about keyword driven framework so those are traditional framework correct hybrid driven framework both two framework joined together this build a hybrid right behavior driven framework very important in the market right bdd 
is very important. Right now, if you go any job replacement, right, you're gonna say, okay, do you know uh, do you know any BDD framework? Right, very important in the market right now. Do you know how to write the test case in Garkin languages? Very important in the market. So today, I will not only teach the framework, I also we're gonna introduce ourselves to how to write the test case using Garkin. Is anybody know from that meeting? know how to write the test cases using Garkin. Anybody has any knowledge about Cucumber and Garkin? I want response from, from you guys team. Anybody has any knowledge regarding Cucumber and Garkin language or BDD framework? No, I don't have. Anybody? Savina? No. Do you have any knowledge? Did you? Okay. I have you guys unmute. Don't worry about that. I don't mind to background knowledge. I'm not that type of teacher. Okay, I'm, I'm very, I'm still a student. Okay, so say I'm give you one scenario. Just before I go to any framework, anything, I want to give you some confidence. So now I want you to go to one uh, uh, restaurant, right? Buy a cup of coffee, correct? How can you explain the steps? Can you tell me how you're going to define the steps? Anybody? How? So in order to do that, I'm going to say, okay, let me come to the restaurant, go inside the restaurant and uh, ask for the coffee. When you get the coffee, give the money, take the money or, or uh, get the exchange money, right? And leave the restaurant. That's the way you're going to communicate, right? This is the way you're going to explain. How you explain? That's the way you explain. Right? If you want to withdraw money from the bank, how you explain to yourself? Oh, I need to go to the bank, go to cashier and give my check and get the money. I'm going to count the money and, and leave that counter. Correct? That's the explain. The way you explain yourself in real life, right? This is the way you're going to write our test case using Garkin language. I believe uh, you have no doubt about that, right? Correct? So yeah. the Garkin is a language where everybody understand what the scene is plain English is no look traditional way when you're writing the test cases, right? When you get any CR, do you have any idea what a CR or PCR or anything, right? Do you have any idea? So we are only getting any requirement business requirement. Let me tell you that way, right? So we need to write some test cases. Can you use plain English? No, we have to follow some rules. But here, you don't need to follow anything. He, you're going to write the test cases, anyone come without any technical knowledge, he can understand. That's why it's very popular in the market now. Okay. Okay, now, this. Uh, team, any question regarding this? Let me know. Right away. So, we just said, what is Cucumber? So, we're going to introduce one framework called BDD framework. Okay. We're going to use the language, right? It's called Garkin language. Okay, what is Garkin language? It's a plain English text. I just told you, right? Correct? This is a plain English. No rules in there. And when you're running the Garkin language, we have to follow some feature file. So what is feature file? We have to say feature file. We have to write the test case in feature file. So how you write the test case traditionally? When you, you had some manual test case knowledge, right, you guys? Yes. Tim? Okay. So how we write the test cases? We use the Excel format or Notepad, right? Correct. We're gonna see yeah. if we need to write the test case for login. What do you do? Right. We need to use the format Excel for traditionally we use the Excel format. Each or everywhere in our uh, official way or communication way, there's a format we follow. Or other ways we write sometimes test case on QC also. Correct. Okay. So now the the file we're writing the test cases. Correct. This is called feature. We have to go dot feature. So when you have any name, say we need to have one uh, home page validation, correct? We're going to say home page dot feature. So there's the feature file where you're going to write the test cases. Correct? Clear on that, team. I'll yeah. show you hands on on that, but make sure if you clear on that. Clear on that? Okay, good. Scenarios. Okay, within the scene, what is scenarios? I just gave you that I need to go to bank and get some money. Correct, Tim? 
So this is scenario, right? What is my scenario? I need to go to bank or I need to withdraw money. That's my scenario. I need to withdraw the money from the bank. That's my scenario. I need to buy a coffee. That's my scenario. Clear on the scenario, right? So you can you can write a scenario anytime, right or wrong. Right. Good. Scenario outline. You can see another scenario outline. Scenario outline is within the scenario. Say you have a Google.com as an example, correct? Within the Google.com, you have to put login and I log user ID and password. Or go Facebook user ID password, correct? Within scenario, we can you, you can give one user ID password. What happened? We need to validate our test case with multiple user ID and password credentials, right? So we have requirements that we have to test that scenario using. Excuse me. I just finished my breakfast, you know. Ah, good food. So when <laughs> I'm going to have some fun, you know, when is the class going on? OK, so when we, we had some requirements that you need to run that scenario using multiple sets of data or credential, right? I want. Uh, um, Nazir need to be enter, uh, uh, Das need to be enter, uh, Akhtar need to be enter, right? So all those scenarios, I want one one scenarios, one feet, or, or one steps, uh, sorry, one outline. So when we need had to put multiple credential in Garkin languages in the feature file, we use scenario outline to connect our multiple sets of data. Clear that? Very easy. Clear on that? Till now, you guys clear. There's been interview question. Write the question. What is the difference between scenario and scenario outline? If you are going for any interview, they must ask you what is the scenario outline? Or they might be asked you how can you define your multiple data using your uh, uh, within one scenarios? Correct? Interview question. Please write that. I'm not going to come back and say that question again. So those questions, they must ask you. I did. Can you give an example of scenario outline for mm. the scenario you gave about the coffee, getting a coffee? Okay, scenario. So getting a coffee scenario outline. Okay. Say when you're getting a coffee, right? So mm. I want three people go there inside that student and get the coffee. So mm. what that means? We need three names in there, correct? Mm. That's actor and uh, say uh, whatever it ABCD three name right so when you say three names so you have to go again so you have to say I need to go enter the uh, coffee center right G give the money and get the coffee come back correct so you see the common step there right but here there is a three name there correct we're gonna put the step in same on the scenario say I need to go so what is I I I is the scenario what do you mean a, B, C, D. This A, B, C, you're going to put in the scenario outline. There is a two double code there. You're going to put scenario outline, make the outline there. Okay. A will go to the restaurant, give the money, get the uh, coffee. Then uh, next time on running, B will go to the restaurant, get the, give the money and get the coffee. C, go to the restaurant, get, give the money and get the restaurant. Now you understand what is scenario. Scenario is only A will go to the restaurant, get the coffee. Now, when we define the scenario outline, A, B, C, everybody can go, enter the restaurant and get the money. All the steps same. We're going to write in the step only one time, but running on the different name. Clear on that? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Clear? Everybody clear? If yes. not clear, I'm going to give another scenario outline. Clear on that? Clear? Clear? OK. Okay, but make sure you can ask any time. Okay, Cucumber has their annotation. Now, we just uh, discussed about the plain English, right? That said, I need to go to the restaurant, get the coffee, right? Now, I want to know how we define those steps in annotation, Cucumber annotation, correct? Say, now we are in this school. Example I'm giving. So, there is some annotation that we need to define some keyword right in order to writing our steps so those call annotation correct so the popular keyword is given when then and we have two more additional and and but i'm gonna i'm gonna cover that one too but what is given so now one scenario said 
you have to go to the school go inside the classroom what are you doing right now right when you enter the classroom you're going to see that teacher is teaching or you can see the skin or you can see some uh, activity that's the requirement what is the requirement I define one requirement said you have to go to a school and go inside the class you can see that uh, there, there is some teaching going on how are you going to do that so given describe the prerequisite. so what that mean say giving i am in this school correct so that means i'm in the school right now you guys on the school right now correct when yeah. i enter my classroom correct okay when i enter my classroom then is the result when is condition then is result correct when i enter my when you can say action when i enter my classroom then i can see my teacher is teaching clear on that can we write the test case using that format easily any doubt about that you need to write test case guys i'm going to give you three scenarios to write the test case when you're doing the framework clear on that given say now, now i'm going to give the restaurant given i'm in the restaurant when i give the money to the counter then they give me coffee clear on that given i'm in the bank when i enter to the counter i give my check then they give me money clear on that any doubt given when then any question regarding this very important this three keywords any important any any question team look i want you guys to clear because you have to catch a lot of things we'll build one framework clear on that i'm going yes. to take a yes thank yes. you yes okay now there is two additional offer operator we don't use actually uh, people don't know but we randomly use that in real life correct so what is the end and but so you can see the description here i'm going to share this ppt to you uh, asad so might be he can share or he can whatever he can do so and is make the two condition together say when i enter my classroom and open the laptop i can see that go meeting correct when i enter to the restaurant right and give the money then he give me that coffee when i enter to the bank and give him the check then he gave me the money clear on that what is the end okay hopefully clear let me say what is but so but is condition that makes the two statement correct so that means when then he give me the money but i can stay in the bank but i stayed in the bank i put on my pocket he gave me the coffee but i take the i sit on that restaurant that's not very important but this make the two condition together that okay now say when i enter the classroom but only the go meeting classroom when i open the laptop then i can see only go meeting classroom correct so there's the condition in but it's not randomly used but yes we use sometime that's interview question because nobody use and and but when we learning we can just learning given when then we usually don't run learn the end and or they might be say what is but can you give me scenarios about the but using the but keyword okay or and keyword make sure that okay any question regarding this given when then and and but okay so annotation another annotation is background Laos, very easily i'm going to teach you what is background that's interview question can you tell me what is background cucumber background 100 90 percent interviewer asks that question if i have any requirement called cucumber i definitely ask that question what is background write down team um maybe i'm going to forget and down the road to whatever question you need to ask so what is background say there is a common scenario sometimes say i have to come to the building or i have to enter the restaurant so for abc 
what is the common steps enter the restaurant correct so those enter the restaurant is a common steps we're going to put this in the background as a real life i'm going to say if you want to go to facebook correct and enter your user id password then you can see your home page correct on that right so here everybody has to type www.facebook.com correct or have to go to the url like uh, ie or or chrome or sorry you have to go to browser ie chrome or or firefox uh, whatever it is right so we have to in order to enter this url we need to open our browser any browser correct so browser is the common background am i right or wrong maybe url will change but we need to run the browser correct in order to run the when we said once it is a facebook you need to verify your home page once you verify home page we have five scenarios defined there correct so when you go verify we need to open the browser when you open the browser that's common step called background clear on that if any step run all the scenarios again and again any common steps right if we have five requirement related facebook either you have to open the browser am i right or wrong team right this yeah. browser we can put inside the background any question regarding that background this is a very important interview question i believe no you guys clear on that tags somebody join okay team tags another important question actually um just few days back i have few interviews so some people has very good kukumba knowledge something so i said say you have one feature file under one feature where you have multiple scenarios 10 scenarios defined okay one scenario for login one for verify home page one for uh, open account whatever it is 10 scenario but i need to run only two from there how can i do that this is 100 percent interview question 100 percent. if you go for cucumber they will ask you that question no matter what sometimes people know sometimes don't they might be say okay can you please tell me how can you run one or two test cases uh, from multiple scenarios is anybody can tell me using tag how? using tag correct so what is the tag say in in real life we need to run the test case we have different kind of test cases right correct we have bbt smoke test cases regression test cases right functional test cases different kind of test cases am i right or wrong correct so basically smoke and regression what is smoke test cases team when we run the smoke test cases very very important interview question they must ask you if for manual test cases what is smoke test cases team what is regression test cases no problem look that's why i'm saying if talk to me then you're going to have few answer right they will ask you what is smoke is, test cases is we testing retesting after any modification has been made and for the in the software smoke like, test when we run the smoke test cases to verify yeah. the major functionality correct right right correct when you run the regression test cases make sure when we functionality change is not affect to any other functionality so we run end to end process clear on that team correct yeah. so those two test cases not to be same correct so we use some annotation when you're writing the test scenarios we use some annotation correct and those are you can say smoke annotation is smoke test annotation functional test annotation regression before the scenarios correct i want to show you that so before the scenarios this is called when we're running our framework then we're going to connect to that tags and it will run only specific scenarios whatever we define there if we say add smoke test in our runner class it will run only smoke test cases 
whatever the tag defined inside this feature file clear on that this is 100 percent interview question team you clear on that part right background and tags very important anybody have any question background and tags one two three four five gone <laughs> time is out <laughs> okay next session is one thing to sorry team so comments there is a one um so in java do you know how to write the comments inside the script with double slash correct yeah okay but in if you want to put some uh, uh, comments inside the feature file how can you do number sign correct hashtag correct yes so this this sign when you use that beginning on that we can use the comment that's not important but for you you can write very important next one hooks okay cucumber release some advanced feature a lot of cucumber people don't know that so but i want you guys know all the advanced feature using cucumber like tags background hooks that's really advanced feature not a lot of people know that but it's very simple why hooks what is hooks do you know so when you say you you did some somebody did modular framework correct it's some knowledge so when you running the browser right or what type of uh, uh, annotation you use to run the browser is it is it the unit annotation or test engine annotation? whatever annotation you guys used Hello.
Hello, cannot hear you. You cannot hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, now I can hear you. All this time it was... So when, when the last time you hear me? I, I spoke a lot. Um, it was with the uh, hooks, I think you're talking. Okay, so you complete the hooks. Okay. Is hooks you clear on the hooks? Uh, yes. And then okay. after... Let me no. give you more about the hooks. Maybe you um, listen half of that. Okay, so if you clear, can you tell me what you understand about hooks? Tell me something about hooks, team. We couldn't hear you at all during hooks. Okay, now it's good. Okay, fine. Let me give you that. Thank you. Now I know. Okay. So, in the real life, correct? See, we had two common two steps we need to define. Correct? Say, if you go to Facebook, www.facebook.com, as the example I'm saying, what common two steps? We need to follow. That's you here. You heard that? Just what go. common two steps we need to follow? First steps, we need to open the browser. Second one, we need to close the browser. Correct, team? Yes. Okay. So when, so if we have 10 scenarios, Right, we write 10 scenarios login page, home validation, registration, booking the ticket, whatever, whatever. 10 scenarios. So, those before you're running those scenarios, you need to follow those two steps. Correct? Open the browser, go to Facebook, enter user password, come back, close the browser. Then, open the browser again, enter user password, go back, go to the restaurant page, put the order element, close the browser. Right? All the steps you are just defining, every time you can see two common things at least. Open the browser, close the browser. Correct? Before you're running the class scenarios, you have to go open the browser, close the browser. Am I right or wrong? Right. Right. So if we want to write those two scripts, right, to open and close, say open browser has one script, close has one script. So how many scripts you need to write inside this our classes? For 10 scenarios, 20 times, correct? That's not the right way to do. The way we need to do, we need to define our before and after classes, right? Inside the hooks class, and we're going to inject to our scripting. 
when so one time you're gonna write the code before run the browser after classes close the browser with the browser and when you inject to our system right we're gonna say hook dot connect as an example i'm saying correct the hook will get the browser from there running your script after running the script you're gonna go again to the after classes and close the browser so when that's why hooks is very important is one of the advanced feature they included using cucumber this is a very very important interview question interviewer might be asked you how can you run your browser how did you run your browser in your cucumber framework some people say okay i use uh, test ng framework <laughs> i use test ng annotation how did you use testing annotation inside the cucumber framework no question no answer no we use hooks we define our before and after classes they are define the uh, browser and we can inject to our system when you have that answer ready i believe interviewers okay you worked on cucumber framework because you know text you know hooks you know background no doubt about that clear on the hooks team any question i just got the theory but i think i need an example of how of how hooks work with the code no no that's real coming but theoretically you are, you understand right yeah For example we're going to build yeah. the framework don't worry we're going to build the framework using all everything all advanced future you can use but theoretically, you, you know that what is hook, right? Yeah, theoretically, I got that. Okay. okay, so team, I believe we can start building the framework if you guys are ready. So before we go, do you know how to take the element from the system? Elements like uh, HTML objects, like tags or something. How to get the locator? How can you get the elements? With the inspect element, right? Correct. With How can steps. you get this element? Uh, you right click, you click on inspect, and it will show up in DOM structure. Okay. So, what uh, is the difference? Steps, uh, class names, IDs. What is that? What what so class name one ID is one. What is that? Xpath. Okay, three there. Okay, so if you're getting the elements, okay. So elements randomly changing the position. Interview question, hundred percent. How can you get the path from there? Team. Tim, uh, do you understand what question um, I'm trying to give you, right? I said there is a one login page, one web page, correct? And there is when you inspecting the element, right? When you're refreshing the page, element get a change. After you come back again, you can take the element, inject to a system. When you come back again, element change. How can you get the element using all those locators? Interview question, hundred percent. What do you mean by locator? What locator are you referring to? What is the locator? Do you know what is locator? Locator. Selenium has the locator, right? Get the inspect the element. The way expert is what is called. It's called locator, correct? Yep. So do you know how many types of locator are available in Selenium? by yeah. he just said four right can somebody add something by name by id by link text by partial text by css by tag name by expert by id eight types right but expert there's a types of expert right 
Right. Now, how many types of expats? Do you know what is the dynamic expat? Boss, this is a very important interview question. To note this self is uh, uh, not enough. You guys, after finish the work, please use your best friend. Talk to your best friend. Type your. What, do you know who is your best friend? Is Google. Search Google. Study. Read. We can give you the feedback, but you have guys have to study more, more, more. Have to learn. So say I'm going to that framework, and I want you to cover the element. Can you guys do that? Can you repeat the question? I said when I'm going to that framework, I want you to because you already covered that framework. You know how to get the element, right? Right. Do you guys know how to get the element or don't know? I know. You know? OK, fine. OK, is anybody else knows that how to get the element using those locator? Yes, we're more expert with expat. OK, we we'll start from expat. Then I'm going to show you how to identify the element using ID and by name. Is that OK? OK, correct. OK, so can you please open your uh, Eclipse? We're going to start building one framework because you guys uh, quickly understand the theoretical part. I thought it's take two, three hours at least. Let me know when you are ready for that. Everybody ready? Unmute everybody, please. Mr. Uh, Nazir, please unmute. I can see two new team members uh, joined. Can you please introduce yourself, please? Okay, ready team? Uh, yes. Okay, can you open a um, project? Do you know how to open a project? Yes. Yeah. We we are not we're gonna open a project two types two way right. One is open a project and convert to the Maven. Then we or we can open a Maven project. Both way is fine. Let me open the regular way, simple way. Okay, say cucumber framework. Correct. Finish. Okay, after open the project, I want few things. I want to open that package. Correct? First package. I want one package called main. What is main package? We're gonna declare the browser there. Common common things, correct? I need another package. What is that package? So I need a browser. I need to run the test case, right? Correct. I need another package. Um, Steph. Step definition package. Okay. 
Jim, please remember whatever I'm typing right now, you have to explain your framework that same way. Correct? Okay. You're going to see, team, I open four packages here. Is anybody has any idea what is utility package? <coughs> Nobody idea. Okay, let's convert this um, to Maven project. We need to in include some jar. Let's convert it to Maven project. When you convert to Maven, there is a by default something came up. It's called prom of XML. Do you have any idea what is prom dot XML? Okay, team, if I'm going very fast, let me know. Sabina, you okay? Till now? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm fine. You converted your package already? I just showed you how to convert. Right click, configure, convert to Maven project. You're going to see in here. Correct? Okay. You converted, you have that prom.xml. I do have it in here, but I did not uh, finish creating the, the classes and the stuff. So do you know how to how you get that? Uh, Let me open can... another package, correct? Okay. Say the test package, test project. Team, I'm converting that Maven project. See, now it's nothing. Only SRC and library file, right? right, right. I'm converting. Configure. Team, oh, I, I click on the project, Confident. configure, convert to Maven project. Okay, we can give that uh, artifact and uh, group ID. Also, you can give some description. Doesn't matter what you're going to put there. Finish. Right, right. I see that. Now you see that, right? Some right. folder generated. Correct, team? Right. Good to go. Okay, so let me remove that. Okay, now I open four projects in here. Do you know what is pro sorry four packages, right? Do you know what the package contain? What is the package contain? Why you open packages? Mm -hmm. A case called people says classes. Correct? Correct. What is the class contain? Um. Number of methods. Correct? Okay, team. So you can see the one package called main package. So when you're going to explain your framework, you're going to say, okay, I work as a framework while we had four type of packages. Uh, we have uh, for browser, we declare the main packages. Uh, we have the step definition packages. We have the test tunnel. And we have uh, utility packages. The next question in table will ask you. Uh, what is utility pack? Why use utility packages? Is anybody in the team have idea what is the abstract class? Abstract classes. Interview question. What is abstract class team? What is interface? You had that Java class, right? Completed Java. Right. Interface is the Chrome. Um, Chrome Interface? Is the... No, I said, what is a, what is abstract class and what is interface?
okay let me give you overview of abstract classes okay this is very important java related uh, question that's i'm giving the uh, overview on that please write down do you know what is the classes classes we declare the method and we define the method correct you know what the defined method means say we said public void uh, say uh, one class is called um, login correct when it's a login we declare the element we declare the functionality there correct we write, define that. so we have to leave in 12 o'clock my computer that auto Ah, oh, okay, fine. No, don't worry about that. So you have clear idea on that, right? So when we have mm -hmm. multiple sets of method inside one classes, say we have five method defined. One is for uh, login. One is for home classes. One is for uh, that, correct? Or say one is for a screenshot. One is for assertion. You know what is screenshot assertion? What is that? What is the assertion team? Assertion is something like uh, for verify something. Correct. Correct. Very good. So do you know when we define that method, when sorry, declare that method inside one class is right. But sometime we define the method some some places, but some places don't. When you declare some method, say public void assertion, only that method declare but no written defined there those classes became abstract class so is java allow us for multi inheritance can you inheritance class class can we do that team say you need to get data from two classes Class one, class B. You had a class for uh, oops concept, right? Do you have idea about the oops concept, team? Very important, Java. Yeah, a little so we bit. Need a, we need correct. We need a element from two different classes, two parent classes, and we need to inject the data to the child classes. Can you? How can you? How how you connect those three classes? Uh, through uh, extend extend key you say okay the class a extend class b extend class c uh, is java allow that team you guys understanding right if you don't understand let me know don't hesitate uh, i'm very cool guy okay so you said extend keyword is right one way so is Java allow extend extend? Did you ever use that? No, I don't. Correct, know. right? So, but now we had one file called element. We need to extend that. Correct. So what happened? We have some reusable method. Do you know what I mean? Reusable method. In real life, right? Say screenshot. You have to take this screenshot when you're running your screen. Each and every step sometime. Go login page screenshot. Go user ID screenshot. Go password, give uh, provide password screenshot. Click login screenshot. You know that that's the requirement from the business people. Correct? So they want the screenshot. This is called reusable method. So one screenshot method contains 15 lines of code. Understand team what I'm trying to explain here. If you don't understand, I'm gonna go back and explain again. Okay, clear that. So we have one business requirement called login function. It's simple. We need to go Google, Facebook, login and enter the Facebook. One requirement. But business people said, requirement says, you have to take this screenshot each and every method. Sorry, each and every steps. I'm sorry. Correct. So I'm going to say, diver.find element by login right uh, click login so then screenshot 15 lines of screenshot method 
steps correct okay now i get the screenshot then i next line i will say now we have 16 line of code correct one for login 15 for the screenshot how many together 16 okay next one is diebar dot find element uh, by id dot send keys now I have to inject our user id put the user id now is 18 again 15 line of screenshot so how much 18 and 15 team please count help me to count 33 correct no. now next line i said diebar dot find element by user id now to put the user id right by id dot send key user id correct you give the user id uh, uh, sorry password that 15 line of code all together you're going to count 17 line of code lines of code you need to add for one requirement is that nice way to do team yes or no is that no. nice way to do no right so what we can do we can write those type of methods say um inside the abstract classes we think we need a navigation we need assertion we need a wait statement there right we need everything so we're going to write in one classes define a lot of method but the Declare a lot of method, but define say screenshot and fluent. Right now, I need only screenshot. I only define the screenshot method. Now, how can I use there? This is the abstract class. There is the one option call here, team. See that? What is that call, team? Interface. Correct. Now you got it right. Mm -hmm. In order to to use that abstract class we use the interface through the abstract class and we implement inside the framework so now if we want to connect two classes i'm going to say class a extend class b implement class c now connect everything correct you had the answer right the way i'm going to do team still doubt Huh? No. Any doubt on that? No, no, no. Go ahead. I know a little bit doubt. I know, I know, I know. Okay. So good team. Okay. So this is is this the way? So this is one class team, correct? Okay, and this is one child class. This is one parent class. Correct. So I need, I had some method defined in here. Correct. And I have some method. This is a class A, right? A. So, and this is a class B. But now I want. Here we have some element related. Element there. You know what is element, right? Say locator. Correct. And here we have our team. Correct. So inside this class, we have uh, how we define that element. We have classes, right? Okay, and here also we have classes. Correct. So team, now here I need to write the login functionality. Login, correct? So what I need to do in login, I have to first thing I have to click the login. Correct. Second thing I have to after I click the login, I have to enter the password. Now enter the user ID team, correct me. Right, then I have to enter the, uh, I say enter. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, to my, define one scenario here. Clear? Okay. So within the scenario, we have one login, enter the ID, enter the password, then enter the login button. But here, I need a screenshot each and every after the steps. Correct? So this class call element and this class call uh, reusable, whatever it is. So now, how can I get the data from two different classes? Because in order to run our script, we need the locator. Without locator, how can you find the location? Right? Do you know what is locator? Locator is like when you're using GPS, you put the address and if you say go, whatever you put the address, this is called location, locator. And go is function. Clear on the locator. So in order to run this click login, right? We need that locator. So we're gonna say driver dot find element here. Okay, dot click. When you're going to the element, it's going to click. Correct? And we need screenshot also. That's the biggest requirement. For that reason, this login class, we can extend. Extend what? Element class. And implement. What implements? Reusable class. That's the way. Java allow us to multiple inheritance in that way, not to extend extend. One should be extend, one should be implements. Now you, we need, we can get data from here and also from here. Team clear on that, right? Now I believe you clear what is the abstract classes? Why need the interface? What, how can we multiple inheritance in Java? Correct the way those is very important question. They might be asked you. Okay, so team uh, now come to the point. So that's why we use that utility packages in order to write our reusable method. Like a screenshot, assertion, those type of method. We're gonna write in here. If I get time, at least I will write one method or a screenshot for you guys and inject to the system. If I get time, if I don't get time, fine. Okay, but you know what is utility package? Very important. The team table will ask you how you write your reusable method, how you write the screenshot method in your framework. I will use reusable, use utility classes for that. Currently, I, I like to use uh, another classes called resources, but I don't like to include it here. That's too much for you guys. Okay, so what is utility classes? To write all our reusable method, right? Reusable method related class, we use the utility classes. This utility package contain bunch of abstract class and we use the interface to go over those abstract classes. Team clear on that. Doubt. Don't hesitate. Am, am I audible? I don't know. <laughs> I put on mute again or not. <laughs> Team, any doubt on that? No. Sure about that? Okay, fine. Okay, Team, I need one folder here. I need one folder here, feature file. So where I'm gonna write my test cases, correct? Okay, create one folder please, team. 
Tim, let me know when you guys are up to my mark. Um, Asad, can you hear us? Yes. Asad, um, I like to finish the class today earlier. Okay. Okay. Um, by twelve thirty, but we can include tomorrow again. Okay. Okay. We have past class. I don't think we need that much time. Okay, just uh, whenever I'm going to give some homework. Okay, okay. then they're going to write some test cases. Okay. Then we're going to finish. Okay, let me show you how okay. to write the test cases. Thank you, sir. Okay, no problem. Team, ready? I want you guys to unmute, unmute, unmute. No problem, unmute. You know what I said? Login dot feature. That's answer I want from you. I showed you that. Hmm. Login dot feature. What that mean? Why I said login dot feature? What dot feature mean? Tim, if you said if you don't know, say no. I'm fine. File extension. Okay. So when I had my uh, um, theoretical part, I said in order to create feature file, we have to have dot feature behind that name. Correct. So when we creating the feature file, we have to have name dot feature any name dot feature finish. See my login feature came. You you guys get the same blue? Let me know. Yes. Who got the blue? Yes. Maybe you got the same thing? No. Nazir? Yes. Yes. Shukla, you yes. good? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else uh, within that team? Okay. Yeah. I can see. Rahatul Zaman, you good also? Yes. Okay, let's start. Um, Feature. I'm going to show you everything. Okay, within one feature, I'm going to write one feature file. Then I'm going to give you some scenarios. Okay. First of all, I'm like to put some comments in here. So I'm going to put author. Mm -hmm. Author is uh, what is that? Uh, don't put Shoi there. Put your name there. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys can put your name. Okay, we're going to use annotation there. Okay, now we're going to say future file. See that color? Change. What are you going to verify in here? We're going to verify login screen. Mm, login test. Uh, um, <laughs> Correct. Okay, team. Now I'm going to put another thing. Um, uh, I need to log in where. Um, Okay. 
que es, uh, Okay, so my home page is Tim, we are up to that mark, correct? Let me break that user ID and okay, then I will do finish. Okay, team. Safe. If you know, if you are guys in uh, that place. We can verify. Uh, what you can say. Okay, we're gonna think later. Can you please explain um, hmm. okay. this part right here? Which part do you want to explain? I explain everything on my theoretical part, but I want to know which part specifically you want to explain. Sure, I'll explain. Tell me. Uh, from the uh, from the description on. Okay. So description is nothing. Uh, description is nothing but explanation. What is this feature for? Okay. The next one is background. Okay, the background. So background is nothing. Where is that predefined that um, specific scenarios like we had uh, any scenarios. See, we had any scenarios uh, which we need to use again and again. Common scenarios, common steps, sorry, scenarios, steps. Say, in order to go to Facebook or any URL, I didn't say Facebook, correct? I see URL. In. I will find the uh, URL, which one you can use. So, we have to go to my browser. We have to open the browser. Any URL you're going to go, right? So, I can say, I want to open my browser, correct? So, after open my browser, I need to type. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay, we need to go for www.facebook.com. I'm not gonna show my Facebook no. Okay, correct. So that's the common scenarios, right? If you want to go any Facebook and any any page, we need to go to that use that common scenarios for all of us, correct? When you going Facebook, I'm going Facebook, or um, Sabina going to Facebook, we have to follow those two scenarios. On a scalar shabal tidaku. I'm so now we know it to you. So I see shabal. Get it, sir. 
ওই যে অগো সাদরার নিচে ছিল যে নাই অগো সাদরার নিচে উদে বাইরে প্লিজ প্লিজ এটা ছিল যে যাবি না কেন এটা না পরিষ্কার করে গট মুছতে হবে একদম আমরা প্লিজ ওয়ান মিউট প্লিজ আমরা বাইরে একটা সোয়ারেজ লাইন ইট নট মি আই এম নট টকিং ইট সামবডি এলস আই থিং ইট শুড বি ডান হ্যাঁ ইট ইজ ওকে আই থিং ইট ইজ শুক্লা দাস আই এম নট টকিং That's fine. I told everybody unmute this thing. I want to communication with me. So okay. So in order to go to Facebook, all of us we need to you open the browser and type the Facebook. Correct. That's common steps. So when my theoretical part, I said when any common step we need to define, right? We said I open my browser and give the URL. That's my common steps. If I had another scenario, so I write. If I need to write another scenario, is correct? I'm gonna say I have to another scenario. Say registration, correct? I'm not gonna write this. If even though I write that scenarios, but say for registration, correct? I'm gonna write separate scenarios. I enter um, uh, say. I am in. I click. Uh, okay, and enter valid uh, data. Correct. Then. Uh, able to um, um, correct. So you see, there's a two scenarios, but both scenarios. This one is common. We need to open the browser and we need to give the query URL. That's called background. I told you this is the interview question. If any common scenario you need to define, common steps. Sorry, we put inside the background. Let's say advanced future cucumber include. Team clear on that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now next one is scenarios. I already told scenarios. Scenario is nothing but related test case. What is this test case define? So we are doing the home page validation, right? So we start our steps writing using scenarios, correct? So when I'm going to see when is the action keyword, and is operator, then is result, correct? Outcome. So I said when I enter my user ID, if you go to the Facebook, I need to enter my user ID, I need to enter my password, then click login button. One is missing here. Then I said and correct. Then I should able to see my home screen. Team, any any doubt about those thing? Very important. No doubt. I want to count till five. One, two, three, four, five. Gone. Okay. So if no doubt about that today. I believe that's enough. I don't want to give a lot of work. Uh, that's going to cost you thing. I want you guys can write some uh, scenarios. Can I give you some scenarios? Okay, what we can choose? Um, Asa, do we have any testing uh, web page? Asad, I don't like to use Facebook in here. Uh, okay. 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 Let me define some uh, in here. We're going to use that URL team for our testing. But it's no login here. Uh, 
where is Vyodika? Okay, what is the tech soft, correct? Give me a second team, let me see I can find something. Can you guys see my skin? No. No. Very good. I want to verify that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's see what do I have. Uh, no. Me. Asad, Asad, are you here? So I need to put some user ID password. So yes, USPS, USPS. See, I can open the account here. I don't see your screen. I see. Yeah, yeah. I like to see oh. where, which web page we're gonna take for our uh, um, framework, right? So I'm going certain web page where I can use uh, user ID password. Is tax uh, tax uh, system? You have the user password system, Asad. Can we use the same uh, airline sure. website we used with Sangram? Which Mercury one? Web huh? I think the Mercury demo tours. Mercury, Mercury demo. Let me see first. Or market demo tours. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, guys, now I let me share my screen. So my skin, you can see my skin. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. Um, so we need to register for that, correct? Okay. So how can we can have the register in here? Okay. 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 So. Uh, so you guys used that uh, before? Yes. Okay. So you have that user ID password? Okay, okay. team, now I want to write think, some scenarios from there. We're going to use that. I think huh? you can put anything and it still will make you sign in. Anything? I think so. I don't know. You could try it. Your sign on. Huh? Oh, it's a big bug in here. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to use that. Okay. Good. So I want to you guys to write a uh, few scenarios. Okay. Uh, one is called uh, sign in, login. Please write down. I want one scenario call. Either should be login to that mercury.com, enter the user password, and able to login. Correct? Can you write this using Garkin language? Yes or no? So, yes. number one scenarios. Yes. So number one is login. Um, validation. I think in this slide we first need to register. Okay, you said you already have the user ID password. Okay. Okay. What else we have? Uh... When you go register, okay, you have to put a lot of things. Then I believe those two scenarios fine. 
register itself has a few steps. First name, last name, lot of uh, thing you need to come up. Okay. Can you write that scenario for me for tomorrow? Okay. In here, Karkin language. Team, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. So please write those uh, scenarios uh, for login and registration. Tomorrow we're going to start. Uh, today we know how to feature file, how to write the feature file. Right. So if you clear on to by tomorrow, we're going to start building our classes. Hands on code. We're going to have you add our dependencies. I'll show you how to add the dependencies. Um, I'm going to send Asad the dependencies list. He will forward to you. Okay. And uh, then I don't know here I can. You see, I can uh, text you guys. Oh, here. Yeah, I believe I can do. Okay, I'll, I'll put the dependencies here. So you have that uh, web page address, right? Let me send you if don't. So this is the web page we're going to build our framework. We'll build our framework using this URL. Clear on that. Everybody have that URL, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, team. See you tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow's same time tomorrow. Can we do it a little bit earlier? Can we start from 10? Yeah, it's okay for me. Yeah. Is anybody yeah. has any problem tomorrow 10? Yeah, that will be fine. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any problem? Okay. Asad, can you do us a favor? Tomorrow we can start the class from 10, please. Sure. We'll do that. Okay. Then. Okay, team. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow we're going to be able to build our framework. Then uh, at least half. And we're going to finish up uh, by two classes tomorrow and one more class. Framework will be finished. The next class will be that related topics. We need to go over some uh, uh, boot camp using the framework, how related question, how the interview going on in the market, everything. Correct? Okay, team. Okay, thank you. And also, if you have any question, please uh, send me. Uh, you have my email address or send it to Asad, he will forward to me. I, I left or, or make the list of the question. I'll answer each and everything. Okay. Can you give your email address in the chat if you don't mind? Uh, Asad, can we give? It's it's already in the email list, actually. I sent an email okay, to everyone invitation. It's there. No problem. I'm going to give it to you. You can also put it in the chat if you want. Sure. Okay, you all have that, my email address. Any question, post it to me or write down. Tomorrow I'll answer. But make sure you guys clear 100%. Okay? I want you guys can thoroughly explain the framework after that class. Okay? Okay, thank you guys. Uh, if no question there, thank you. Thank you, Asad. You can leave. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very much. Sure.